Hey everybody, I'm Chris. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a mega menu with the Uber Menu WordPress Mega Menu plugin. So, when we're done, you'll get mega menus that can look like these. Okay. So, we're going to start off with your basic fresh WordPress installation with uh, the 2010 theme. So, this is just your basic menu that comes with it. Uh, it has, I've got two static pages here, home and about. So, First thing we're going to do, we've already uploaded uh, the Uber Menu plugin into the WordPress plugins folder. So we just come over and we activate it on the plugins page. Now it's going to do two things. First, it's going to give us a new Uber Menu control panel here. And we'll be using this later. We can do things like change the preset. Um, and it's also going to give us some new options in the menus, the, the default WordPress 3 menu system. So we'll come over to the menus page. We'll create a new menu, you can call it anything you want, okay, um, we'll just add uh, our home page to the menu, just so that there's something there, save that, um, and then what we have to do is we have to tell WordPress where to put that menu, so a theme registers a particular location for its menus, and 2010 has one option for theme locations, that's the primary navigation, so we're going to put my menu there, let's save that. And then we also have to tell Uber Menu that we want it to megify that location. So we make sure that this the, the location where we're putting our menu is checked off in this activate Uber Menu locations box. So if it's not checked off, check it. Let's save. Save everything here. Now we go back to our test page and we load this. You'll see we now have this is Uber Menu taking over and it automatically replaces the the menu for whatever WordPress theme you're using. Now obviously this is pretty boring, we just got the one home page. So uh, we're going to add some more pages to our menu. Um, I went in and created a bunch of uh, categories earlier just to make this process easier. So I'm going to add all of these to the menu. I'm also going to add a A top level category to contain these. Bring it through all the way so I, I'm just going to sort all of these items out into their proper categories to mimic making a menu of your own. So I'm just going to pause the video while I finish doing this so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Okay, so we're back here. I just finished sorting out all of our foods into their various categories. Now I'm going to make each of these food categories, submenus of the food top level item. Okay, so now we've got two top level items, home and food. Then within food we have four different categories. We've got fruit, vegetables, protein, and dairy. And then each of those has four examples within it. So I'll just go ahead and save our menu here. Oh, and the other thing we want to do is we want the food menu item to be a mega menu item. So we're going to click Show Hide Uber Menu Options and click Mega Menu This Tab. Otherwise, it'll just be a regular flyout menu. So you can mix and match mega menu and flyout menus within your within a single menu. Um, there are a variety of other options at each level. So you have all sorts of uh, different configurations you can make. You can add images and you can highlight items. Uh, you can put widgets into your menu. Um, there's all sorts of different things you can do. You can add descriptions. But for now, we're just going to create a, a basic menu. So we're going to save this. Check back over here at our test page. And you see we now have home, and then we have food. And under food, we have a nice mega menu here. Here are our category headers with the options we need. And that's your basic process for creating an Uber menu. Uh, you can also come in and switch up the style uh, to something different. Save those options quickly, check back. So that's a blue menu. Or, uh, switch to the black and silver one. And you can see you can change the styles easily. So that's your basic process for creating a new menu, and I'll uh, create some other videos on the more advanced features. Thanks!